Hey everybody, I am back with my um, update on my weight loss journey and um, things are kind of going good. They're slow, you know, but it should go that way. This is how you're not going to end up with so much excess skin and that kind of thing. So, um, it's not that I've dropped a lot of weight um, in the last two weeks. I've dropped about another five pounds, which um, is pretty good. I think it's actually about four pounds, but um, um I went and I tried on pants because I had to. Uh, I mean, my other pants were just falling off. And so um, I had, I was in, when I started this journey, I was in a very tight 16. I never bumped into the 18, but they were getting tight. And um, then they had loosened up pretty good. And then, um, so when I went to try on my jeans, I was I grabbed both 14s and 12s um, because I was like, well, I'll just try even though I really was fully expecting the 12s to not even fit up over my hips because it's been a long time. I haven't worn a size 12 now since about, um, right about the time actually that I got pregnant with um, Cameron. So um, I was like kind of disappointed. I was so aggravated too because that one point I had tried to lose weight and I couldn't, but I had put all my clothes up in the top of the closet, but I had gotten mad. So I pulled the whole bag down and I donated everything. And it was really nice clothes. So now that I had needed stuff, I was trying to avoid buying anything at all. But um, so anyway, the good news is, is I did um, drop down to a 12. So um, they fit snug, but I did get some that have like the little bit of give in them. Um, but, um, I was really pleasantly surprised. So I am still working to to um, make sure everything all over is good. Um, I have lost uh, over two inches in just like my rib cage. So now even some of my old bras and stuff that like I really loved that I thankfully did not get rid of because you don't donate those. But um, so they are starting to fit again where I can breathe because, you know, you ladies know, and I guess any men who might wear a bra, but you know that um, when it gets too tight, you just can't hardly breathe, and it's very uncomfortable and stuff. So now those are fitting better. Um, the only thing is, of course, my other ones aren't fitting that great, but um, I have not lost a lot of like uh, my volume, so I'm kind of happy there because I was worried that that would be the first thing to go. Um, still would like my stomach to... Um, get flatter of course I mean it has slimmed down I've slimmed kind of all the way across the board my arms my legs my stomach everything has lost weight I still feel like I'm having a lot of this that is just there um but I also right now I'm sick so maybe that's a little swollen I don't know um everybody in the house is sick but um my um my thighs have gone down just so much my hips and my thighs they really have been the first to to really change and so like I said I would I didn't expect to even be able to pull the pants up over my hips and not only could I pull them up over my hips but I could actually butt them, button them easily so I was pretty happy with that it makes me um, have more um, stamina to keep going so things that I've changed is that I really haven't been taking any of the medication because um, so that's probably why the weight loss has for sure slowed down because, it, I mean, it completely controls everything for you. But um, I just didn't like the way it was feeling. So I would like to kind of keep going on this journey without it so that, um, you know, I'm more in control of it. So I feel like it really gave me the good leg up that I needed. Um, but now I feel like I have a better handle on it and then um, can just kind of keep going. So... Again, have not been to the gym the way that I planned, but I have been working incredibly hard around our house because it was just like so many projects and stuff. So I actually think I've worked harder at home than if I had gone to the gym, but still I can't say like, oh, I put this amount of time in. Um, and uh, we've been very busy. We've been traveling and all that kind of stuff, not traveling anywhere like great. We just did some, you know, visits down to like the Houston area and stuff. So um, obviously those were long road trips that didn't um, give you much exercise. 
But um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm still, you know, watching what I eat. And um, I'm not saying that I don't have my hungry moments. Last night I was really having a major hungry moment. I really, I wasn't wanting anything sweet or anything. I just wanted like food. I wanted to feel really, really full. But um, I just went on to sleep. You know, I just was like, no, you're not going to eat late. So um, I think those are just the best things that I can tell you to do to just kind of keep even low. Like sometimes those cravings just feel very overwhelming and that you feel like you're just going to have to um, give into it. You don't. Just find something else. Um, treat yourself like a toddler who... You need to distract to get them away from that particular toy or that item. Do the very same thing with yourself. So whatever thing works for you. Maybe it's watching a show. Maybe it might be going to sleep, listening to some music, getting up and dancing. You can drink water and that kind of stuff to kind of take the curve off. But um, for me, it does not work. Like if I'm wanting to chew food, I want to chew food. So, um, you know, um, that's... The very best things that I can say so just stick with it stick with it it's your five pounds five pounds at a time um, I'm gonna check in with you guys in about two weeks I really wanted to do a, a vlog sooner because of when I had gone and tried on the clothes and the pants but um, we were about to leave to go travel so I was like no I'm just gonna stick with my plan do my dates that I had promised so um, I'll check in with you guys in a few more weeks and hopefully I have at least another five to ten pounds that I can talk to you about um, and um, so that my body will keep kind of reallocating the the weight evenly. I'm, I'm feeling good that everything is kind of being even and losing even. I'm not having uh, a lot of um, saggy skin or anything so I've just been taking care of that. So you do want to continue to use your um, your like cocoa butter lotion and stuff just like as if you were pregnant because you want to get your skin to have as much elasticity as possible and for sure I notice a huge difference because I'm in my 40s now and my skin doesn't have nearly the elasticity that it once did so I do have to take a little bit extra precautions but anyway thank you have an amazing day stay blessed share your stories and make sure that you comment and you like this video and that you subscribe so that you can get my further updates because i have big goals come summer so hopefully i am where i want to be because i'm going to reward myself come summer so anyway have an amazing day and we'll see you next time bye bye